I started my video over because this old copyright music playing in the background stops me from getting paid for my video so but I have to tell you that I had an amazing weekend and um, all day today I just was smiling and you know while at work as a matter of fact at work I thought it was like 4 o'clock and it was 5.33 and I get off at you know six and um, <clears throat> well, I only had like 27 more minutes to go and that was real cool so that's an indication that my day was very smooth but let me make sure my nose just saw my video hold on Ain't taking me that long, huh? Not really, but <laughs> I was with my mom Saturday and I just kept on my notes and she's like, here girl. Now I only gotta wash my hands, but anyway. That video and booker's all in my nose and shit. Good thing I'm petite, cause you know. Can't nobody see up my nose because everybody's taller than me. But anyway, had so much fun. So free. Everything about it was so, it was just great. Um, do you remember I said in my other video, I, you know, he had invited me. Well, he said to a house party, but shit, we had so much fun at the casino. We went back there. Uh, instead of the house party, it doesn't matter. Nonetheless, I asked him, well, what do you want me to wear? Well, that's because, anyway, and his answer was, whatever the fuck you want to wear. But when I talked to him later, he was like, you know, he wanted me to just be sexy, you know. And I love that. Because that, that's me. At my age, as I exit this earthly realm, I just want to be into me. You understand? Just into me. I don't care just into me uh you know call me vain you know take try to take my mirrors away where i can't look at myself any longer you know whatever uh, I, I, when i'm in my space in my world i feel like i'm just all in my world i mean i can't really describe it i'm just into my world so in my world you know i have my mirrors all day by me. Of course, you know, looking at myself. I've been through so much in my life. And I, yeah, I've been looking at myself. I smile, either doing my hair or saying how I'm just whatever. But that's one of the things that he had said to me, uh, you know, knock him, knock him dead. You know, he wanted me to be sexy as I could be. And while we were there, you know, he's just dancing with women and, and all of that. And I didn't care. I didn't give a... I'm going to try to stop using the F-bomb. Just try to stop using the F-bomb. Okay. I didn't give a fudge cracker, um, you know, and I didn't, you know. And he wasn't bothered by, you know, the guys dancing with me. I, I didn't get to film the one black guy, you know, he offered to buy me a drink, you know, and my friend had already bought me one and I told him I said no I said I can get some I, you know let me get you a water or something I'm like well no I water is free out there I'll just go out there but thank you and he's like well I buy free stuff too you know and I kind of laugh anyway he bought me some water and then he said can I dance with you and I let him dance with me and he's like I'm not too close am I I said oh you're fine I appreciated the respect and I was just well you know, teasing kind of sort of about the white lady, you know, just wanted to dance with me, you know. And I did because I seen all kind of females dancing with females, you know. So, and I mean, it's just like friendly dancing, so I didn't care. And so she and I were dancing, but it wasn't nothing inappropriate, you know. I'll dance with her just like I was in front of my mom. So, uh, also, um, 
uh, what else was I going to say about my time with him? It was just fun. And I told you guys, that's all I'm about is fun. I know that you're not used to hearing a woman, a female, talk like this, but act like a woman, think like a man. That goes real deep for me. And I know that goes over a lot of you all's head, but it goes real deep for me. Yes, I do, you know, kind of live my life, you know, kind of like this and uh, with the middle finger up, which stands for F U, which means I really don't care and I really don't. And, you know, with what all that I've gone through, you have to get to that point. Somebody on one of my YouTube videos said, you act like all you have to offer, offer is your body. Still don't understand Lynn Little John. Still don't have me just you don't get it you know what do you mean offer like all your world is about is trying to groom yourself to offer yourself up to another human which happens to be a male boo boo i'm not about that i'm not trying to offer a, a, a nick a nigga nothing i'm not trying to offer a man anything um groom myself to come up to his status quo uh so he can say you know yeah now you're groomed to be a wifey What? What? Oh, you forgot. I already been that. Twice. Hats off to you, Lynn. <laughs> I give you a stellar award. I give you a trophy. I give you a certificate. Girl, you did that thing. Best wife that I could be. That's why I hold my head back up. And I walk tall, as tall as I can with regard to those two times that I was a wife. Um, 34 years to be exact, over half of my life, began, I became a wife as a teenager. 19 years old, and that marriage lasted 25 years. Everyone knows it lasted that long because of me. The best first lady I've been the best daughter, not talking about like favoritism, but I have the best daughter that a mom could ask for. Ask my mom, sister, ask my sister and my brothers, mother, ask my daughter. Uh, hey, I don't hold my head down about yet where I am. Have I always been this way? Absolutely not. You don't like me? Why? Why you don't like me? What did I do? What can I do to make you like me? Will you be my friend, please? I really want to make you happy. What did I do to make you mad? What else do I need to do? I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not doing that shit. You act like all you have to offer is your body. Well, thank you. I guess that's a compliment. Them, them folks sure was coming up to me, telling me, I mean, that's something I never experienced, man. They coming up, up to me. Uh, the white women, Mexican, and, you know, I had one couple of Mexican girls come up to me, and she said, she's beautiful, she said, me and her, and she pointed, I looked over, and there's her girlfriend over there, you know, we were just looking at, I mean, just look at your, you know, your eyes, you know, whatever, I said, thank you, and then you saw on the one video, I didn't know even know I captured that, but the lady walked up behind me. I'm getting ready to do something else, right? And she walks up behind me and she's like, you have a great butt. And it walks off real fast. <laughs> and my friend said, he heard a lot of them talking about everybody, talking about my ass. Uh, you know, so that that was funny, you know. Don't don't talk condescending to me about my investment because God damn it, I pay, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Cracker, I paid $6,000 to, re to relocate that fat. Yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I got to go in this store.